Hello, Superuser. So you have chords written out in one part, but now you want to get them distributed to all the other parts. What do you do? You can either go through and just like enter the chords by hand on each of the respective parts, or you can use this simple trick, but it involves using the JW Staff Polyphony plugin, which I have a link to download in the description. Once you have it installed, all you have to do is highlight the staff that you want to do, come up here to plugins, find wherever you install it, JW Staff Polyphony, go to staves and go to split. Now here I have chords from Pachelbel's Canon just for fun, and so we want one line per staff, but you can do it in pairs, which is really good for woodwind or brass writing. You can do it in split pairs, which I use all the time for horn writing, or you can do wide closed pairs, which is also really good for woodwind writing. Uh, we want the split direction to go down. Basically what that just tells you is we're starting on the top stave and we want it to propagate downwards. And simplify JSON notes, we don't need to worry about that right now. And all we need to do is highlight the staff and hit apply and ta-da, we have the chords on every single staff. Now if you had thought about voicing register when you actually inputted the chords, the result might turn out better here. But even so, that's a quick way to distribute the notes of a chord in one staff to a bunch of other staffs. This plugin is powerful and it can actually go in reverse as well. So if we go find the plugin again, we can, instead of splitting staves, we can merge the staves. And here we can see it kept the same octave that it split it to. You can also do different things like layers, like let's say we want to split it into different layers. Now we have each of the voices in a different layer. We can also merge them into the same layer. So that's it. That's a very quick introduction to the JW Staff Polyphony tool. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all the finale tips and tricks. One last thing, I'm looking for ideas for future videos. So if you have something that you want me to explain or you're trying to figure out or if you think there's got to be a faster way to do it in Finale, comment down below and if I can do it, I will definitely make a video out of it.